Jonathan Kulig, everybody. Now, hi, Jonathan. How are you? Now, folks may not know what you did. We're going to show them the video right now. Uh, over the weekend, he rescued a man off the subway tracks at the 3rd Avenue station on the L train here in Manhattan. There's Jonathan. Look at this. The guy was collapsed on the tracks, and Jonathan just went down there and grabbed him. By the way, he doesn't know who this guy is, and the person taking the cell phone video just happened to be waiting for a train, saw this all transpire. I mean, it's amazing that he just bent, he jumped down, picked him up, and jumped back up, and just like, you know, seconds before the train came barreling through. Jonathan, well done. Uh, why'd you do it? Uh... I don't know if I could answer that one. It just you see someone that needs help, you, you you do it. You're a decent human being. I'd like to think that. So okay, what was it like jumping down, you know, in the tracks on the tracks? What were you thinking? What was going through your mind during all this? So, um, I mean, once I looked so that a train wasn't coming, I kind of had a path from for where to go, um, where I would go if a train came, and. Uh, I just jumped down and crossed the rail and got the guy. Now, you just saw this guy on the... Were people, like, pointing at him? Was there a commotion? Or did you just notice him on the tracks laying there? So, as I was coming off the train, I had taken my headphones off. And while I'm wrapping them up, I hear... You know, I kind of see something in the corner of my eye first. It looked like a blanket or, you know, just trash going onto the track. And as I'm wrapping them up, I hear, you know, someone going, you know, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know, help. So, the, that was the people on the platform, and I looked over, and I saw what I thought that blanket was move, so it was a person. Wait, mm. did the train just run over him? So, no, 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 no. So, I was on the, the 8th Avenue bound side. He was on the Brooklyn bound side. Mm. Right, okay. So, I, I had just gotten off on the 8th Avenue bound side. And then, um, once I saw that it was a person, I, I heard that the train was coming on the Brooklyn bound side from the announcement. You know, it was a one-minute, two-minute warning, whatever it is. Um, so, once I heard that, I knew that he didn't have much time. So, so I just went after him. Jonathan, was he heavy? Um... I definitely wish I went to gym a little bit more after after lifting him up on that platform. <laughs> yeah, you went on to the, so you had to come from one side to the other. You yeah. went all the way over. Yeah. There's a bunch of people there already. Mm -hmm. No one's jumping onto the tracks. You were the only one to do it. Yeah. Now, how did you feel? Do you feel like, come on, let's go get him? I mean, what are you waiting for? What was your reaction? I, I'm surprised that they were all just kind of waiting there. I didn't didn't even think that. I saw the guy. I saw the platform. That's what I needed to do, and that's what I did. Uh, but so you did this in seconds. I mean, this is really remarkable. You. You, you jumped down there. You grabbed the guy. How heavy was he, would you say? Um, I don't know, 100 and... 30, maybe? Okay. Yeah, he so seemed you, a little you, groggy afterwards. So you right? picked yeah. him up, you put him on the on the on the platform, and then you had to jump up. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult jumping up? Um, I guess it wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm kind of tall, so <laughs> if, <it's, laughs> if you're relatively fit, you can do it. It's the train yeah. that that's a wild kind of variable here. Yeah. That is, uh, we timed it. It's about 61 seconds out. All right. So you, it wasn't right there, which is good, right? Now, what was he like? What was his demeanor like? This guy. Um, so, something was not right, so I didn't know if he had a medical condition or anything else. Did so. you smell alcohol? Um, I, I smoked Subway, uh, Subway muck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Subway much, yeah. huh. What about your family when they heard what you did? Uh, what kind of reaction did you get from your family? Um, it was a mix. It was a lot of, wow, that's amazing. Oh, my God, why, you know, don't do that again, that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. did get some family members say, what are you, crazy? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. John? Native New Yorker, right? Yes, sir. And uh, where'd you go to high school? Archbishop Malloy. Archbishop Queens. Malloy. A lot of family members went there. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm an engineering supervisor at Con Ed um, in Manha Manhattan Engineering. Were you on your way to work? I was on my way to work for a night shift, yes. So did you worry about the third rail when you jumped down there? Did you think about that? So it was one of the first things I thought about. It was train, third rail, getting a guy, getting out. So I knew where it was. Uh, I knew how to avoid it. I knew how to properly walk over the tracks. You Did you get training on that from Con Ed? So not from Con Ed. Um, I actually had a project about a month and a half ago where I had to get track training. So I actually happened to have at least enough knowledge to know what to avoid. Hmm. Not saying I'm an expert, not yeah. saying I should be on the tracks, but I, I, I knew what to not do and what to do. So let me ask you something. It all went well, thank goodness. We're happy that you're safe, the man is safe. But now, when you think about it, when you go to sleep at night, do you get a little freaked out about what you did? Not at all. No. Yeah, I get it. Totally. I like to think I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for me to say, you did it, you were there. I am a little surprised, maybe a little disappointed that you didn't have a little bit of help. Have you thought about it now? Not now that it's over, the dust is settled, you got a whole bunch of people, you went from one side of the subway station to the other, and they're basically just looking at them. Um. Well, if the guy was a little bit heavier, I, I, it would have been a little bit different because I, I would would have definitely needed some help. But, I mean, it's a scary thing. If you don't know what you're doing on the track, 
it's it's a lot more dangerous. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I knew what I had to do. So it was. Hey, when you took that course, did they tell you that you can put lay down in that little groove so you can. They did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They, they they did say you have to have. Um, uh, a safe zone, a place to go in case the train comes, and usually with an operator that would say, hey, we're going to go there at this point in time. So I had that mapped out in my head if where I couldn't the, get out of there. Yeah, where was the safe zone? Right in between, between uh, by the uh, the beams. Huh. That was where I was going to go if I couldn't get out. By the way, Jonathan, I'm looking at your hands. I don't see any wedding bands or anything <laughs> no, like no that. No, no wedding bands. <laughs> Are you single? I am single, yes. Really? Right. Nobody in your life? Nobody. How do you like this? You do something nice, <laughs> and now you get pride How in your personal you? life. 29. Well, nice. This Gotten your face out there a little bit. Can I'm we just thinking, you know, I, I would like a nice son-in-law like that. Wow, Jenna. Yeah. I have a nice daughter. She's 27. She's probably, if she's watching right now, she's ready to kill me. <laughs> anyway, but you're and my you're, mother's probably you're, laughing right now. So. You're a good catch. You're a very good Thank catch. You. He's right. not in the music business, you know. <laughs> I mean, Jenna's really passionate about music. You like music? I'm trying to see if this is really viable. I try. I, try. I mean, I can't say I play well, but I try to play a few instruments. Oh, really? Can you uh, sing? Not at all. Okay. In the shower, in a terrible bit. That's about it. <laughs> well, Jonathan Kulig, uh, well done. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hey, by the way, have we heard from this guy? Uh, do we expect, do you, do you, will we visit him in the hospital? I, heard him, I don't know if he's still there. You want to talk to him? You want to meet him again? Um, I would meet him, uh, but I really don't know. I don't know anything about him at yeah. this point. I don't know his name. I don't know where he is. Once the FDNY EMTs came down, I gave them all the information that mm -hmm. I had so they can do what they had to do. They're the pros. And then uh, once they took him, they had him, I w went to work. Would you ever do that again? Yeah, I think I would. It was, wow. it, it was crazy. He's a yeah. Wow, that's Look, amazing. You know, you did the right thing, and, but let's face it: if they, nobody did anything, the guy got run over. It would have been like, oh my god, right. you know what I mean? Why didn't? And that happened a couple of years ago. Remember that guy on the train? There's a big picture on the front of the New York Post. Greg, I, totally. But I don't think like you know the MTA suggested everybody jump down and rescue somebody. I don't think they're going to say that Jonathan did anything wrong at the same time. You know <laughs> what I mean? All right, pal. I like you. You're good. You. All right, and maybe who knows? You should follow up with Jenna. She's actually very nice. <laughs> Or Jenny, you follow up. I don't know how it works. What do well, you? If she looks anything like her mother, she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's good. This is what I mean. I knew this was a good one. I knew this was a good one. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. All right. Congratulations. All right. Should we talk to Audrey? Text Jenna right now. She's gonna get mad at me. She doesn't like she's me when I do that. that. What's yes. that? Yes. Okay, we're still on the air, actually. Anyway. Jonathan has greater sense about these things than we do. <laughs>